going on to you Libras so you Libras have the star oh wow the Hierophant the Knight of Pentacles the Page of Cups Page of Wands the uh, sorry about that the Four of Swords the Moon okay Three of Swords the Devil and the Ten of Cups okay so for you Libras um no major arcana that represent Libra, but the star, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, a lot of you uh, Libras are in a situation right now where uh, this is definitely a, a, a turn for the better, a turn for the, a turn for the better, right? A turn for the good. The star card represents is one of the cards of starting over. The fool, the star the world right the fool represents uh inspiration pretty much inspiration a lot of you libras want to be you know first off an inspiration to yourselves you know the hierophant you spent so much time being in a position where you know you're getting disrespected and you're you're allowing people to disrespect you and a lot of you libras understand that it's time for you to rise out of that and a lot of you libras have you're not hanging out with the same people that you used to trust. Same friends, the same romantic interests. A lot of you Libras are done with that. The Knight of Pentacles represents how you're in a situation where now you have more of a focus as to where it is that you're going in your life, right? And there's more of a sense of emergency. And what I mean by that, or excuse me, a sense of urgency, sorry. And what I mean by that is You Libras understand what's important more to you now than ever. Your freedom is important. And the people that you can trust around you, as well as self-trust, but outwardly, your physical freedom is important, as well as your mental freedom. And the people that are around you calling themselves your friends, your, your family, your romantic interests, that's very important to you. And then the, the Page of Cups now represents you're in a situation where there's a sense of peace. There's peace. There's, there's a lot of uh, peace with y'all. There's amazing peace. Um, the Page of Wands represents the Page of Wands and the Four of Swords. You Libras looking so good, so attractive to the point where a lot of people that you don't even talk to anymore are going to try to say, hey, what's up to you again? And you don't want anything to do with them. You may see them out on a town. They may try to say something to you. And you leavers don't want to have anything to do with them whatsoever. <sighs> because you leavers understand that you can't trust them. The moon now represents, uh, and that's why it is that you ghosted them in the first place. So they may try to reach out through a text, a call, something. Either that or the people may know that if they did try to reach out to you, you wouldn't say anything to them. So it's either they have reached out and you Libras got low. It's a New York slang, meaning you got out of there, right? Get low. Or they didn't reach, they don't reach out to you because they know that you Libras wouldn't even say anything to them, even if they did try to reach out. Because, and the, and the Three of Swords represents their heartbreak. But the Three of Swords represents the heartbreak that they, that they have caused you in the past. And that's the irony of it. They caused you so much heartbreak. Now you Libras are getting low. Y'all are free. Y'all have ghosted them. Cut those people out of your life. You want nothing to do with them. Now all of a sudden those people don't like the fact that you're not in communication with them. Because you're doing bigger and better things. Like I, I've been saying. You know, Libra's not stupid. You know, so... Now it's ironic because they're messed up now. 
And the thing about it is that the, the devil now represents, they can't seem to let go of this attachment that they have to you. Now they want you back after they can't have you. And that is ultimately their problem because they're stupid for that. Because when they were, when you Libras were in their life, lives, right, in general, they should have appreciated you and actually gave back. And maybe the two of y'all would have still been in a relationship still to this day. Because cause the air signs do represent pairs, right? The air sign represents dealing with twos, right? They say, they say that bad luck comes in threes, right? Well, for air signs, air signs really deal with twos. And it doesn't necessarily mean that air signs naturally have bad luck, right? I'm not trying to be superstitious. What I'm trying to say is air signs, y'all deal with pairs, right? With Gemini, it's a pair of emotions, right? The a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, right? For Libras, it's about the Libra scales, right? Wrong good evil right with aquarius it's the group individualism the group individual so every so the whole principle comes in pairs so for you y'all would have been an item if they would have played their cards right y'all would have been a relationship but the, the ten of cups is about how but you realize that that was just an illusion with them and that it couldn't have been them it's probably somebody else, but it couldn't have been them because they didn't, they, they aren't patient enough to be in a relationship with you, right? They very much so treat you, Libras, with a very uh, heavy hand, and there's no point. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the, uh, the devil. Let's clarify the devil. The fool, right. Four of cups, the king of cups, and the emperor, right. Because honestly, they're on, they're on the edge. You know, but they're on the edge of their, they're, they're being driven crazy, thinking about what it is that you've got going on and how, you know, you can't be there in their life anymore. You're not around in their life. But this is also you in the sense that it was what, ha what has happened to you, that transformation it really is a spiritual thing because you leavers are not afraid of not being in a relationship right so the four of cups represents like i said that that spirituality that that this is a ritual right here like what this person is doing right here is a ritual you see they got the candle and the cups and they're up underneath the tree they're trying to work this ritual and they're marking the tree and this area as their sacred space, the space that they're choosing to work this ritual. So the thing about it is that that's what I'm trying to say. Like a lot of you Libras see, uh, you see relationships, interactions with other people, interactions with yourself differently because Libras rule interactions. Libras, and what I mean when I say interactions, how things and people and ideas behave with one another that's what libra is right on one level that's what libra that's what y'all represent on one level y'all represent that the king of cups and the emperor which is the emperor represents aries which is which is your opposite zodiac sign the king of cups and the emperor is about how you're just you will not go back to them you're done with the dysfunction, the, the dysfunction, the dysfunctional relationships, period. You're done with that stuff. The emperor represents you are going to maintain this, this, 
focus this decision, this decision to never go back to dysfunctional relationships and see where it goes. And the thing for you, Libras, is really putting you in a position where it's really benefiting you because, you know, your priorities are more in the line. You're able to actually, you know, handle your business. You don't have you don't have so many people in your way dealing, you know, trying to get your attention and because they have learned helplessness and they don't know how to handle their problems. And now it's up to you to help them fix it, even though you didn't even cause it in the first place. It's very much so a time for you Libras where it's like, you you don't have to deal with that type of stress because of that. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost at 9,000 actually. We're at 8,944. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell and set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.